Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first tiny house of 2022. I am back with another installment of the Squish today because I was just really craving building a tiny house because I feel like towards the end of the year and beginning of this year, I've done a couple of different things like building something with my grandma and uh, posting some holiday homes and just not as much of like my favorite thing, which is tiny homes. So I really just wanted to experiment and build something that really gives that tiny space vibe. So that's what we're doing here today. This is sort of a like split level home. I have a couple of different levels on the inside to help separate the space because it's very small. This is actually a micro home. It is only 32 tiles. So I had to, you know, move some stuff around to make it uh, as functional as possible. And I have this set up to be for one sim and their cat. So there's everything you need for a single sim and for a kitty cat. There's a like bowl, a litter box, and a cat bed. And I have play tested this home, so it should work just fine. Uh, sometimes I had some issues with the litter box, so you might have to move that outside if you do have any issues, but hopefully not. And if you'd like to download this build, I will have it available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffy, G-R-Y, P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffy, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So the outside shape is generally put together now. I have a lot of landscaping to do and painting it, but we're inside now working on a general floor plan. Basically under this window, it's going to be where the kitchen area is. And then in that front window space that I have the roof window, that is going to be like a cat hangout area slash some extra storage. And then there's going to be a couch in here. And that area where you step down over here, it's going to be the bedroom space. And because we have the ability to have loft beds and bunk beds now, I've turned the under part of that bed into an office area. But you could definitely have a second bed under there if you prefer and have more than one sim sleeping in this space. But that's the general layout I did for in there. And then the three by one is obviously the bathroom. But we're heading outside and now to try and figure out what wallpapers I want to use. I ended up going with the wood from Eco Lifestyle in the, gun, in the end because it's, it's just so good. It's the best wallpaper in the entire game. I'm never going to get over it. I'd like to see the Sims team attempt to make a wallpaper that is better than this one because I, I just feel like it's never going to happen. And I will gladly eat those words if they can give me something better because it's just so beautiful. I can't imagine something better. Uh, but anyway, just working on some landscaping here. I ended up at first putting down a palm tree over here. But I end up swapping it out for some Joshua trees. And I basically used a lot of Stranger Real landscaping, which I thought worked nicely here in Oasis Springs. And then I'm using these debug stones to wrap around this pathway. The pathway is actually a tile from Journey to Batu, And then I end up putting a car under here. I believe I get one of the blue ones from Cottage Living. Should be grabbing that here shortly. I just liked how it popped against the like wood tones that I had <laughs> throughout the exterior of the space in the interior as well. But and also normally when I do builds that are especially tiny homes that are like this particular like deep wood tones, I always keep it like very clean and minimal and modern and, you know, just dark tones. But I had so much fun decorating this space and adding a lot of personality and like fun, colorful clutter to it because I don't know about you, but whenever I've seen tours of tiny homes, I watch way too many of them. I just think they are so fascinating. There is always such unique clutter, like the items that you choose to actually keep in your very small space are always really unique pieces. I feel like they have like a vase that they got from a local artist or some really fun things that are very special to them. So I really wanted to incorporate some of that into this space. So I had a lot of fun picking out some colorful items in here. And uh, yeah, the kitchen space, I think, came out pretty cute in the end. I have a mini fridge and then like and on top of it, there's an oven. We have a stovetop and a sink. It's got everything you need. It's just a little bit of a strange layout, but I really like it. I think it works beautifully for tiny houses. And then I used this little planter that's a dog. I think I changed it to the hedgehog version before I finished up this build. But this window right above the kitchen is a beautiful ledge. So putting a really unique planter up there, I thought was just such a fun detail and really kind of um, encapsulates what I was talking about and wanting to have those little special pieces throughout the space. And this is also when I decided we needed to have a cat. I put up a cat calendar. I had the dog 
particular pot and then I change it like I said I think to a hedgehog but I was like you know what maybe we can have a cat here I feel like this window a cat would love this front space so I'm just figuring that out here and putting down a bowl and then I used this really funky cat bed from I think that one's actually from my first pet stuff it's an avocado <laughs> I really like it there's also like an egg version and like a monster and I think like a some kind of steak but I thought the avocado one was cute. And then I'm putting some treats up here. Our dresser also ends up being over in this space. I figured it would just be a good spot to have that. There's a dresser and a mirror over here. So your Sims can go ahead and get changed and plan outfits. And then I'm trying to figure out the living space after I put a door to the bathroom, which like I said, is right outside of the bedroom area. I ended up using this sectional sofa from Dream Home Decorator in this yellow swatch. I really just loved the touch of yellow in here. I was having so much fun incorporating a lot of color. As you can see, we ended up getting a bookcase in this little nook as well as a guitar. And I think the bookcase added a lot of color as well with all of those bins in it. I just feel like even though the structure of this place is very dark and I don't know, it's not, I guess I would say neutral, but like dark neutral. There's so much personality in this space and I just, I really had a lot of fun with that. It was, it was a fun one to do. Uh, but just getting some curtains in here. I also really like that the windows all have like shelves in them. I didn't put anything in that particular one, but you definitely could if you had a sim living in this space. And then I couldn't figure out where to put this trash can. And so that's like tucked behind the guitar because the guitar will probably end up in your sim's inventory pretty much immediately anyway. And then right here across from the living space, I was able to put the TV in that window, which was a perfect spot for it. And then I just got a mirror and a little bathroom hanging off of it as well. And that's pretty much it for the living space. We're heading on into the bedroom slash office area. So I just got a laptop here, a nice little chair. I believe we get, yeah, this one from Dream Home Decorator. I changed the color a couple of different times. So I don't actually remember what it ends up being in the end. I want to say it ends up being like a white cushion with the same wood tone that I have now but I'm not positive on that. But we'll be heading back to the desk after I get like the bathroom necessities in here so I can decorate that desk space and like the wall under it because I imagine that's a workspace slash just like a chilling space. It's nice to have a desk to sit down at and use your computer. Uh, and then I just got some toothbrushes in here. I really wish we had more of that kind of stuff. I talked about really wanting like a bathroom kit at some point. I think that would be so nice. <laughs> so this is me mentioning it again. Speaking of which, did you all see the roadmap that The Sims announced today uh, for the next three months of The Sims 4? They announced a game pack that sounds like it's probably going to be wedding themed, a couple of new kits, some updates, and like, I don't know, some sort of collaboration with the community, which I'm assuming is for the anniversary of The Sims next month. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm really, I'm, I'm so down for a wedding game pack. I would love that. I'm, I want to know more. Can you announce it now? Can, can, can I see a trailer, please? That just sounds really fun. Uh, but yeah, just finishing decorating that bedroom space. I think it looks pretty cozy. And then we're heading to the backyard, which doesn't have a ton in it. It's mostly landscaping back here, but I like that because a lot of the times I don't know what to do with backyards and I end up having too much space and don't know how to fill it. So I think it was nice that I mostly had a bunch of greenery back here and there just ends up being I think a picnic table a barbecue and a place to store your bike I think that's all that's back here but I guess we'll find out together so here is the bike that I knew I put here because unfortunately as cute as the car is out front it is not functional however a bike will be functional if you are a young adult uh teenagers too I assume just not kids I really want kids to be able to ride bikes that'd be so nice <laughs> but I put this uh this picnic table over here, this one is from the holiday pack. I really like it. Sometimes you'll use it on the interior of builds. I just think it's a really pretty piece. And then just finishing up some landscaping and then we'll be heading on into screenshots. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I would love to have you join us. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. Enjoy the screenshots and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.